Well, my favorite time of the year, it's apple season, and we always go down to Giles Orchard in Alfred. Uh, that's where I grew up down that way. And I tell you, look at these apples. They're almost as big as softballs. Great this year. Um, and I'm gonna make, not an apple crisp like everybody makes, I make an apple crumble. I got an old recipe, I don't even know where I got it, but it's very simple. The hardest part is cutting the apples. It's one, one swoop, and it's, there's the core. So I'm gonna need about five or six, six apples for this. You can leave the skin on or off. It, the recipe calls for you to trim it off, so. So you can cut them in, into chunks, you know, not too big, not too small. All right, we've chopped up our apples into chunks. We've left some of the skin on, just taken some of it off. Um, I like to use a little bit of lemon juice just to keep them from browning. Half of the sugar, I have cinnamon. I'm gonna add half of the cinnamon. Fresh nutmegs are just very, just a couple swipes. And my secret ingredient, brandy. Everything's better with booze. Just a splash in with the apples. Now coat the sugar, the spices, the brandy. And then dump your apples into a buttered casserole dish. All right, base quick. Cup and a half of Bisquick. This is the reserve of your sugar. The other half of the cinnamon. And it calls for an egg, one. You sprinkle this on top of your apples and you see how loose it is. A half a cup of melted butter and you just drizzle this over the top. Another sprinkle of cinnamon. And this will go in the oven for about a half hour, 350 degrees. And the apple crumble is complete, but it wouldn't be complete without a scoop of French vanilla ice cream. Look how good this is. I can't wait to dive in. Taste the sweetness, the brandy. So good. We'll post this recipe for you. Apple crumble on our Facebook pages. Give it a try. If you do, take a picture. Let me know if you like it, and we'll see you next time.